Okay, today is August 16th. I'm following up on what the officer told me as far as going to the district attorney's office since yesterday. I went to the clerk's office at the 400 McAllister and could not find any stay away order or restraining order. I had the paperwork printed out. So now uh, I was told by that clerk to go to 850 Bryant just to be sure. So I'm here to go to the DA's office on the third floor. We called the number. Uh, 553 1751 uh, in order to find out the appropriate department to go to. They was told over the phone from the district attorney's office to go to room 301 and that they would look into this matter. We're on the third floor and we're heading toward 301. So, 301. Okay, we're in room 301 and we'll just follow up. Uh, actually, I need some help. I was told to come to the district attorney's office because uh, I went down yesterday to the Department of Public Health in order to get health care and I was denied and I was told that there was a stay away order. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Correct, and I had an officer from the San Francisco Police Department there on civil standby. And uh, he told me to go down to 400 McAllister to ask the clerk for a copy of the stay away order. I went down, I got the paperwork, there's no such thing. And the clerk there told me to come to 850 Bryant. So here I am to follow up on my complaint about having a bogus stay away order, and I'd like to file whatever charge is to start an investigation. It has nothing to do with your office. I was told by the Sheriff's Department to come to you guys. Who do I go to for this? Correct, and the fact that I was not aided by the San Francisco Police Department with this. So you go back to where you started with, go back to your health? No, because I'll be arrested with a bogus stay away order. That's what they told me. I have it on tape. Listen to what I'm saying. If the stay away order doesn't exist, why are you worried about being arrested? Because I've already been illegally arrested before and the city lied and I have a confession to that extent. You're telling me it doesn't exist? Can you check? Thank you, sir. Wonderful. And then I can go then I can go and call for stop talking for me. Once you know that, then I want you to go back to the problem and help and deal with that. No, sir, I will go to the police department. Thank you. And I will deal with them not having provided me the services. Here you go. And what about my legal rights? I don't care about Of course no one cares. I'm trying to help you out. That's fine. You told me that this began in the health department, correct? No. I am telling you that they have illegally excluded me from my rights. That's why I called a San Francisco police officer for civil standby to do his duty and to make sure that my legal rights were enforced. I wanted to follow up on the denials of my public health. All right. All right. So that's what I'm suggesting. That you has not worked I'm in the past. Your your Hold on, please. Because you've asked me a simple question that whether or not you have restraining. That's that. fine. And then I will go to the correct departments. go back to the department that threatened to arrest you. Yeah. And they'll call the sheriff and it won't matter. They're going to jail. Yeah, and, and this guy is, you know, not trying to be helpful. Funny. That was funny. Want to hear it again? It's okay. No, I'll just call for civil standby again. There you go. Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, and send this officer out. And send and show him this. Yeah. That's right. I don't have to show him anything. I mean, you know, I'll just send the same officer out. I'm not going to go back to the, the, the place that doesn't follow the law. And thank you for that bad information. Why would I want to go back to the Department of Public Health? Who's going to prosecute them? I'm at the DA's office. I want to know. You've got my ID. Probably doing what he followed in you. 
can do whatever he wants. That's quite all right. I mean, I, you know, what more can I possibly do than re video record? No, so I need to know where I can go and file charges for being denied public access to a public building yesterday, if it's invalid. for a violation of my civil rights. You can't answer that question, who can, sir? You know, another thing we can also possibly do is go to the sheriff's office at City Hall and file a complaint against, you know, that sheriff's officer because if there's not a vote, yeah, fourth floor City Hall. Oh, okay. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll just, you know, go in and videotape them. What are you going to do? Well, yeah, because you might end up in jail. Well, I'm going to go and download this one, and we can go tomorrow or some other day, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying, you know, this, you know, downloading everything and having it is the safest way because you know what they're going to do. No, oh yeah, let's see you live. Well, look at what they just did already, you know. Yeah. He's trying to send me back to the place that is unaccountable. You know, it's already broken the law. Why would I want to go back to the Department of Public Health if it's already broken the law? I'm just saying it for the tape. Here's your ID, Mark. Thank you. Here's your proof from our office, and I'll stamp it. You have no Okay, now, my question is, since I was denied public access to a public building yesterday, who do I go to to file the complaint and have the people arrested? So who? The police department? You have no idea. That's fine. What is your name, first of all? If you don't want to do that, it's up to you. That's fine. No, I don't. Why would I want to go back to the people who because did something and broke the law? I want to have them arrested. So who do I go to for that? Who enforces the law? Okay, so that's where I go. Thank you. That's my question. Well, that's who I called, and that's who. That's why they sent out a police officer, and that's why this whole thing is bogus. And I asked him on tape, and I have the videotape, what to do when it's bogus. What was your name? Thank you. Okay, well, let me get a copy of all of this. So when they lie, they're not accountable. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll press charges. 